Welcome back Minecraft fans, this is BunkD76, back in Tutorial World, and today I'm going to bring a tutorial, a tutorial on this, a wool farm. It's um, it's a great compact farm, produces huge amounts of wool, very very good. This is a design by Silent Whisper, um, you should check out his channel, he's very, very good videos. I have tweaked it and I have his collection chest, he has it sitting higher and he has his collection chest uh, quite low down so I've uh, added an elevator in there to bring the items up to you. But yes, the actual farm is a Silent Whisper design. But let's get on with it. We have, we, or we need a 5x5 five five hole and 3 blocks down, so 5x5. Five and three blocks down. You do need to take out these three blocks in the middle out as well. Um, that, that will help you in a, in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's basically where you're at. Uh, these are the items we are going to need. I will put an item list in the uh, description, make life easier. That's what we're going to need. I'll grab those other bits in a moment. Right, we need to come down to the middle. The, down the hole. So standing on your front edge, this being our front. In the front corner, come in by one, we need our droppers. Uh, where's the droppers? Why have a bunch of sticks in here? That's very strange. Um, dropper, dropper. Now need our hoppers. And hopper hopper leading into it just like that okay we need to come in here take out a couple of blocks and we need to place one solid block so we're taking out two there and then a little area around or the ones down the bottom take your comparator so from your dropper going into the wall at the, here place your comparator so it's aiming this way into that block okay then your repeater so from this block to this block we need to place repeater so kind of get in up against the wall aim at this block and place there redstone underneath that one and then you can come out and repeater there into that one okay so that will create a little uh, elevator so when the items end up in this dropper signal will get spun round and make the items go up we now need to uh, where's our dirt? We want to do most of the building with dirt blocks on this because it will help uh, the rest of the, gra the grass we need to replenish. To replenish. Um, so try and build everything out of grass blocks if you can. We need to go one, two in the middle, take out the one at the bottom. You will have to make yourself a little hole. Just drop down and place a lever underneath this block in the dead center. Okay, and flick the lever. That will become apparent in a minute. So around that block, make a circle of grass. Okay, so you've got, let me just jump up. So the block in the middle with a lever on it, a little circle of grass. Take your powered rails. We want one on top of the uh, hopper and one on the other side. As you can see, they become powered. Because we've got a lever underneath here, it will power both of these blocks. Get your normal rails and create the rest of the circle, uh, the little loop around that block in the middle. And we now want our hopper minecart. Place it on there, give it a little nudge. That will be off. That's him going. We now need uh, a ring of dirt to crouch. So we need to go right round. I'm crouching and doing this. So yeah, create a loop right round of, uh, of grass. Now you need place a, a grass block in the middle and then cover this little section up above the 
the minecart hopper or the hopper minecart. Punch out that middle one, and you need to, we want to place a torch in there because that light, that torch will help this grass underneath there stay um, as grass. Okay, place a grass block on top of that torch, then a glass. on top of that dirt block, uh, grass block, okay? Again, the glass will help keep the, that grass, um, keep it grass. If you block off the light, it will turn um, into dirt, into soil, yeah, dirt. Right, these three blocks here. Take your observers, and you need to place an observer facing each one. No, not there, there, okay? Place grass across the black and place a redstone on top. So the, the observers are now out. So it, when these get turned into grass or they turn, sorry, when they get turned into dirt by the sheep eating it, eating the grass, they get turned into dirt. Or when they become, they regrow back to grass again, that will create a signal through the observer and into this redstone. Now we need to. Oh, place an observer aiming down on top of that redstone there. So that will now bring the signal up when we get it. We need to place torches in each corner of here. I would now uh, place your double chest, one on top of the dropper and one next to it. We now need to place a ring of grass around the outside so we can go right the way around obviously do not place grass on top of the chest because you need to be able to get in there get your two slabs and place those on top that will just stop the sheep getting out and leaving you access to the chest Right, jump down inside. Oh, no, we need to put a solid block on top of the glass, okay? Solid block up there. Take your dispensers. We need to create a ring of dispensers around, but we do leave one corner. So just leave this corner blank at the moment, okay? Take your ring, your glass. Place round, missing off the corner ones. Not there. And not there. Okay, and put a torch on each corner. So again, the light helps keep the grass growing. Um, it's all about getting the grass to grow as quick as possible. Get it to grow back as fast as you can. We now need redstone. On top of the observer, on top of the glass, and then three across the top. And that is basically the redstone done for this. So I'm going to now shift this bit out. We now need our shears. You could put one shear in each of these, and they will last quite a long time. But you may want to put more. Um, so you don't have to come back and replace that is up to you but they do last quite a long time they are it doesn't shear hey we've well, done that one yeah they do they, they, they last quite a while so there's no major panic you can replace them as and when right the la last couple of bits we need uh, you need a piston and a button. Or you will need a piston and a button. Right, so we got this one block missing, uh, left out up here. This is where we're going to get our sheep in. So create a little stairway up. Get your wool, uh, get your wheat. Um, attract some sheep. Bring them along. Drag them up on here, and get them to drop down. 
once you've got a couple in here you can use your wheat and breed them up um, and get them going once you've got enough like 16 or so well you could get 16 here dye them up you could do that out there and bring them in or around that sort of number up to 20 I would say they don't have to be dyed you can get or I've just put a random load in that one get them in there and you're good didn't really want to do that where's my dispensers there we go so I now want to put sheep <laughs> sheep in so let's get a good selection of sheep in there that will do right now to get the last dispenser on because you can't get in there to place it so this is the tricky part we can get rid of that bolt okay so in line with that corner go two blocks out place a solid block and go three high with a solid block okay come round into the top of that you into the top of that you want to place a piston aiming this way get your last dispenser have it face it down um, on the piston button bang that's that grab those again we have to basically move it into place button there we go move these blocks don't need them anymore that is the last dispenser in place obviously you need to remember place a shear in it and that is you done so as the sheep as you can see already we're up to 21 uh, 28 wool in that short short time the sheep are obviously already eating the grass down here creating the redstone signal which goes up gets all the dispensers as you can see a lot of the sheep have got um, have been sheared and we're getting plenty of wool and it gets brought up to us absolutely perfect so that's it hope you enjoyed that guys I hope that um, is helpful please hit the like and the subscribe button please let me know of any farms that you might want to see in the um, in the near future and go and check out silent whisper as well he's a great bedrock player um, comes up with some great farms so yeah thanks for watching please check out my uh, series I'm doing with my friend junior my 20 minute minecraft series go and check them out um, the tab is about there and yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one cheers guys take care bye bye